Alright, good morning guys. Making this video to show some of you uh, whether you're a new truck driver, experienced truck driver, or just interested in learning about axle weights for trucks, how to get your truck right, how to take uh, your weights using a scale at a shipper or receiver. Um, I'm going to show you my my weight weights to get started. So right now my gross weight when I left the shipper was 77,380 and then as you can see the tear that's my empty weight 32,080 pounds and then that was 45,300 the net. That net is actually uh, the it's the same as a ton I believe 22.65 tons of the commodity okay so I'm showing you my bills are laden I'm gonna show you my equipment right now that way you guys know what what it is that exactly that I'm pulling I got a 94 international day cap it's got a short wheelbase This is a 2018 Trinity trailer. It's a belt floor trailer. Tandem axle. Okay. Alright. So, I'm allowed to have 34,000 pounds here. And this trailer is actually kind of nice because it's got... It's got a weight gauge right there. I use this to help me set my axle weights. I'm allowed to have 34,000 right there. 12,000 pounds right there. Equals 80,000. Anything over 80,000, you need a permit. All right. All right. Let's pull up to the scale real quick. And I'll show you how to get my, how to get your axle weights. How to do a little bit of simple math. That way when you go to the CAD scale, I, I do this when I'm getting loaded or unloaded. I'm sorry, when, especially after when I'm getting loaded and I'm scaling out at the shipper. That way if I need to get a CAD scale ticket, uh, my axles are pretty much almost already there where I need them to be. And usually I can be right where I need to be on my CAD scale ticket because you got to pay 10, I believe it's 10 or 11 dollars for the first way at a CAD scale and then you have to then it's like a dollar or two afterward for your reway. So what I do, there's a scale right here. I'm, I'm rolling onto the scale. And usually I just put my truck, I roll the truck over onto the scale until the steer axle hits the scale. Okay, and the, the, the scale is actually behind me. Right now I've got three, they're 10,360. Uh, truck driver. And then what I do is I, I, route, I write down the, ax, the steer axle weight. And I was at 10,360. And then I put just the tractor, the, the steer axle and the drive axles. And I'm at 44,160. Okay, and then I pull forward. And I put the entire tractor and trailer on the scale. And I'm at 76,000. 840. So, uh, kind of show you guys. Oh, is that 10, 3, 60, 44, uh, let's 
say I was, I know I was 76, 840, I think there's just 380, somewhere in there. So all you gotta do is, here's my steer axle, I'm under 12,000 so I'm already legal there. And then this is the tractor, the whole entire tractor, the steer axle and the drive tire. What you do is you subtract this number from this number and that'll give you how much weight you have on your drive axles. And then you subtract the 76, this gross number, subtract it from here and that'll give you how much you have on your trailer uh, axles. So right now I'm, I'm sitting probably anywhere between 32 and a half and 33,000 pounds on a trailer. And on the drive, on the drives, I'm sit, I should be under 34,000 if you guys want to do the math. Anyway, that's just one quick little method that I use to help me figure out and calculate my axle weights. All right, guys. Until next time. Any question, comments? Uh, leave it down. And I'll try to answer your questions. Take care.